Adromistius filicaulis, agroplants.org, uh, this plant it's su subshrub succulent, beautiful as you can see, uh, it's perennial evergreen and used for the ornamental, uh, usually for the leaves, uh, it's drought tolerant and easy to take care, can grow in a variety of climate, Mediterranean, desert, subtropic, uh, or indoor as a house plant from hardiness zone of 9 to 11. If you would like to grow it, there is a link below, link in the right top side. And if you purchase it, this is donation for this channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe, it's really really helped me to continue and create more videos. So the leaves can be green, red, yellow, purple, grey, pink, orange or mostly multicolor. It can be with dot or splash colors and the linear shape uh, or even ovate shape for the leaves. Flowers color can be purple, the flowers shape are its pipe uh, with an entrance in a star shape. It's like, think about pipe and in the end it's like glue a star shape. Something like this. Hopefully it was enough uh, explanation. Sorry that I couldn't show you. I don't have it right now. It's take, it's doesn't bloom every year for some reason. So, how to grow it? Well drained soil, better sandy soil. Uh, you can start to grow it by seeds, plant or uh, cutting. You can use cutting for the stem, uh, better to do it by hand. You just go to the base of the plant and crack it a little bit and, do st and let it dry for a few days. After a few days at least 24 hours if you don't want you see that the tissue will heal the moment that the tissue heal you can just put it on the soil and take care of it the same as fully grown plant uh, don't not over water people attend for some reason to over water this is a succulent uh, if i forgot to say it so it doesn't like so much water so don't over water of course you can do it uh, in the sp late spring until the early summer this is the season and if you do it indoor it can be all the, the year if you give the right condition of course uh, it's not must to start by by leaves or just stems but it's much harder to start by seeds for sure planting season will be spring to summer in hardiness zone of 9 spring to autumn in hardiness zone of 10 and all the year in hardiness zone of 11 Major pests are aphids, sli snail slugs, and uh, not very crucial for the plants, maybe just, they just visit here, I don't know. Pruning season can be all there, and pruning it's just for design, if you need to design it, it's amazing, because it's really really slowing, growing plants, so it's take time, or dead part, this is the usual thing that you need to do. Size of the plant will be from 5 cm to 14 cm, so it means 2 to 6 inches in the right condition it will be slow growing plant and require small amount of water uh, do not over and better let it dry between watering except this the plant like half shade but grow well in full shade with light uh, this is why it's possible to grow it indoor and if you grow it as a container uh, choose containers that will be uh, strong big enough uh, that won't fall. Uh, this, it's not very stable. You know, some plants are the mass weight in the base, but this is, you know, the leaves are a little bit. So choose something that will hold or put some little rocks. It's also good for the drainage of the soil. That it's important. Uh, the pot better to be 20 to 30 percent bigger than the root ball. It will be enough. Uh, of course, every few years to need to switch, and little uh, in the bottom it's matter it's really measures uh, uh, the soil so use a cactus potting mix or something with really really good drainage why because if without good drainage you will see the plant dying from uh, over water especially if you don't have a let's say watering system so the moment that you do it by yourself uh, as all us human we do mistakes Blooming season will be in the spring to the summer, as I said before, it's not really bloom here every year, and uh, I don't know, it looks good, so the leaves looks good, so maybe it's something in the conditions that I can give to the plant, and maybe it's just a coincidence, or this cultivar doesn't like to bloom so much.
except this easy to grow doesn't require much and a beautiful color for the leaves so why not to grow it that's all from growplants.org don't forget to subscribe visit our website and of course if you have any question just ask you have here links about more videos some list subscribe and of course purchase plant and this is donation for our channel i hope you enjoy and come visit us again